hello everyone and welcome to chapter 73 of the last thoughts of a busy mind this one titled putting on the ritz which for those of you who don't know is the name of a song an incredibly famous one actually i uh, will get to why i named it that uh, i wanted to name this episode about something regarding um success and all of that and um, putting on the ritz is actually a great great uh, great way of saying that well and i have five different versions of it in my uh, playlist i have a playlist called the writing playlist which is something i just put on the background while i well write <laughs> and i have five different versions of it uh, one from leningrad cowboys which is more um heavy metal version of it, or heavy rock version of it. There is the uh, Fred Astaire one, which is the kind of the original one. Not the, I don't think it is the original, original one, or it might be, I don't know. I should have looked it up. Uh, there is the Ella Fitzgerald one, which I love. There is the Robbie Williams one, uh, which is like the original original version of it with the lyrics uh, saying where Harlem flits uh, instead of uh, fashion sits um, long story and the more famous one which is uh, the one that we introduced the song the taco version which is pretty fun until uh, it gets to that weird bit at the end where it's just he says a bunch of words those of you who have listened to it know what I mean. Those of you who haven't, go ahead and listen to it. Uh, you'll know what I mean. <laughs> Anyways, that's why I ne- decided to name this episode that. I'm recording this at around 3 a.m., so it's more into Friday than usual. But yeah, first of all, our drink today is the cactus juice drink. The carbonated cactus juice drink that I have. We are running low on it. I need to buy more. Uh, let me take a sip amazing i think i'm addicted to it why not (laughs) secondly a couple of updates on stuff that i've mentioned before the jaffa khan video is finally out i highly appreciate it if you go in the description check this episode out and tell me what you think i want to know your uh, thoughts on it well talk to me (laughs) about it and share it if you can i know it's a highly specific movie but i think the stuff i added about iranian history and iranian cinema and just the development of the movie can make it interesting so do check it out it's link in the description also i bought a new tiny tripod and it was really bad like incredibly bad it was even cheaper than the one i had so of course it was worse But the thing is, the bit at the top matched the old tripod, so I took it out and put it in the old tripod. Uh, It was easier said than done, but it was done. Now, the last week I did uh, the show on a bigger tripod, and bigger tripods are better, they are more sturdy, they are obviously not going to wear out like these cheap ones, but they are too bulky. You know, I can maneuver around them and not hitting them, which will make a sound on the uh, microphone. You don't believe me? Check this out. This is me hitting the tripod. So these small ones are better because I can maneuver around them and look up stuff in my computer when I need to. So in the last bit of the last episode i mentioned that i watched the fox slime gary v video and it's a video i suggest you see too i I, you know what i'm not gonna suggest you see the video i'm gonna put a link to the fox slime uh, channel in the description and i recommend you go there and watch almost all of his videos almost (laughs) um because he's a great uh, yeah, they they are a great um, great content creator, and uh, you know, check their channel out. But the Gary V video, the Fat Slime uh, talks about something, 
in the Gary V video at the end of it that really sort of threw me off, which is something that Gary V said, to be honest, uh, it's an advice he gives to people, entrepreneurs, and he says that post, you know, uh, if you are post often rather than post good, you know, the uh, quantity is more important than the quality of your work. And that really thought, and he said something, and it, <laughs> if you have a voice and you can talk, I don't know why you don't have a podcast. And that really struck home, I guess, because, you know, that's basically this show. It's, it's not edited. It doesn't have any bells and whistles. Like, when I talk about the five different versions of putting on the Ritz, if this was a great show, if this was a YouTube video I was making, I would have put snippets from all five. Maybe less than snippets, like five seconds. Because that's another can of worms. But anyways, anyways, <laughs> that made me feel incredibly... Uh, self-reflective and last episode was about self-reflection but I watched the video like just before I started recording so I couldn't talk about that about the contradictory thoughts so for this one I want to just frame it as questions in a Tucker Carlson style oh my god even saying that made my body shiver like I don't know about your political affiliation I know there are a lot of people on the left who I was annoying as Tucker, but you know, the smugness of this uh, rich heiress is. Uh, <sighs> fuck him. Basically, fuck Tucker Carlson. I'm not even American, I say that. Which makes it more uh, apt because, you know. He's talking to a white audience. I'm not white. I'm Middle Eastern. So, anyways. Uh, I'm going to pose these as questions, though, and try to work it through here, because as we've talked about before, the last thoughts of a busy mind is much, much cheaper than therapy. Therapy is, like, monstrously expensive nowadays. There are people who are paying, like, upward of one million tomans, um, which is Iranian currency. It's not that much, like... It is much, don't get me wrong, it is a lot of money, but the Iranian currency, it's not, uh, let me see how I can, if I knew the exchange rate, I could have, let me just Google it, you know, because that's the stuff you want to talk about, right, one million tomans to USD, um, okay, I need to do it in real I think. Um, 10 million. It's around $236. So, you know, $200 an hour. People are willing to pay to go to therapy. And I would if I could. Because therapy is important. And if you are, if you can uh, afford it and you can do it, do and you think you need it. Go to therapy, it's an important thing, there is no shame in it. One of the things I wish my father did more was go to therapy, because I think that would have helped me a lot too, on top of his own problems. But, you know, aside from that, uh, I can't, you know, so this is much cheaper. So I'm going to pose these as questions. And the first one I've written down, yes, I still am using notes. Am I creating good content? Or just content. Now this question is uh, kind of important because there are stuff that I think are good, genuinely good. The Jaffa Khan video, I think it's genuinely good. And it's a bit narcissistic, but you know, I worked a lot on it. I researched a lot for it. I made it a good product. So a good, yeah, basically yeah, a good product. I made a good piece of content to share and gather people's attentions. That is yes. But for like the last thoughts, I'm not sure. Is it good or is it just content? Is it me trying to remain relevant? Or am I genuinely doing something good with it? Now, this is where I usually, oh, you know what? This is the best segue to the plug. 
Don't forget to send me a message on Anchor, a voice message, and your message will be played at the beginning of the next episode, and you might shape a whole episode. If not, if you're listening to this on YouTube, you can uh, comment, like, share, all of that, and tell me what you think. If you're listening to this on CastBox or other um, content uh, podcast services, you can uh, post a comment there, and uh, if you're on CastBox, I recently turned on a not- notification there, so I will get uh, get your comments. So tell me your opinions on it, because again, these are questions. I am trying to answer them, but I want your input in it as well. So am I creating good content or just content? The thing that really got me is that I... I've said it before many times that there is no point in me creating the last thoughts other than I want to. But why I want to? <laughs> That's the problem. That's the thing that I should honestly talk to my therapist about it. But as I mentioned, therapists therapists are not cheap. Especially when they are like around 230... What was the number? 236... Uh, okay, I will, will round up because uh, we put in the uh, <laughs> time it takes to get there and, uh, you know, the uh, transportation costs, okay? We $240 an hour and for, like, multiple sessions. It's not cheap. So, I can't... Uh, I can't, um, okay, what I was saying, I lost the thread of my thought, again, if I wanted to make good content, I think I would have edited this, but I'm not, there are a lot of uh, reasons for that, first of all, I don't, I really don't like editing, and I don't want to add more to my already, um, weird, um, schedule of just keep editing, and like, this video is done, let's go and make this other video, and there is a whole bunch of editing involved, and uh, so yeah. <laughs> On top of that, I think I've got the perfect uh, anniversary video for the anniversary of the AK88. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, so, w- which one is it? You know. Uh, the last thoughts, I thought, you know, it's 20 minutes of me talking and it's basically you coming along with me and getting a glimpse into the last thoughts of my busy mind before I die. <laughs> but no, basically, these are the last thoughts because they are literally the last thoughts I have in my head being said, which is why many of these episodes, if you go back to the backlog, which is a quite a big backlog, You will see many episodes where it's incredibly jumbled. And there are episodes, um, one episode in particular, where I have a live anxiety attack. So this is literally the last thoughts of my busy mind. But is it good? (laughs) Is it a worthwhile content? Or am I just churning out content like a content machine? And the reason for that is, um, I think that is my good content... And, you know, it's it's a human brain, you know, flawed in its own ways. Oh, sorry. Flawed in its own ways. I feel like, oh, if I make good content, then I should get um, rewarded for it. And so if I don't work on this, the fact that it is not a successful venture in terms of listeners or all of that, well, it's justified because I'm not working on it because I'm a very impatient person. And the thing is... Luck plays a big role. Like, even in a small, small, minuscule couple of people uh, environment that I have for my audience, luck plays a huge role. Like, uh, I made a bunch of YouTube shorts. I will keep making them. Uh, You know, if you're on AK88, go ahead and check the shorts. They have movie recommendations based on the most recent big video, big... uh, TGTBTI video. So, like, I made a bunch of shorts uh, about movies like Excalibur, the John Berman movie, great movie, the 
Nerd Tales, and one of the more recent one was Beowulf and Grendel, the 2005 Gerard Butler movie, which I do have a soft spot for. It's not perfect, but it's incredibly beautiful. Anyways, do watch that movie. But that short blew up as much as my channel can, you know, 170 views in one day, which is not something I am used to. <laughs> I know in other corners of YouTube, this is like a very bad day. If somebody says, oh, 170, I must be doing something wrong. But for me, with a channel that averages like 10 views, or if, if a new video has been out 40 views a day, 170 is not small. So, you know, luck plays a huge role. Yeah, it's a more known movie perhaps, but perhaps more people were searching for it that day. The same thing happened when uh, my Irishman video came out. It blew up for like a 10 subscribe channel and I got 60 views for it because people were looking for it. So it's luck, mostly. It same thing happened with Yasp and Seth MacFarlane. We, I was lucky and I talked about something that was relevant for people and they were searching for it. There are ways I can optimize that I don't think I want to because the important thing about these videos is there are stuff I want to talk about. Like there are stuff that are interesting to me and I'm asking you to come to the journey without, with me. I said without me. <laughs> come to this journey with me. So I don't want to make it a content machine. You know, oh, uh, what is trendy? Let's talk about that. What is uh, blowing up? Let's talk about that. There are projects that I hope to do with that especially yes for you yes people which is supposed to be like short reactions but i generally don't want to like i don't want to talk about what is popular this week um i don't know like the new batman movie is out is that still popular is that still relevant oh morbius right morbius yeah, that one. I don't want to talk about that. I haven't seen it yet. But I don't want to talk about that just because I need to talk about that. Because it's important and I need to talk about that. Because what if I see it and it doesn't interest me? Then what? Then I have to make it. Then that content will not be good. Because I'm forcing myself to talk about it. I did want to talk about Jaffa Khan. I did want to talk about Sir Gawain and the Green Knight. I did want to talk about Sweeney Tan. Omerta, and even American Gods. So, I want to talk about all of those. I don't want to talk about, like, Morbius. I don't want to talk about the new Spider-Man movie because everyone is talking about it and I should be one of them. Even though, if I do that, I will get more views. So, again, contradictory thoughts. <laughs> I want more views, I want more subscribers, I want to expand my audience, show my stuff that I really work hard on to more people, but at the same time, I'm not willing to play the game. I know I'm not willing to make um, stuff that the algorithm will pick up, so I'm relying heavily on luck, and luck is frustrating, because by its nature, it's fucking luck, so it might not work. Which is why I said multiple times I'm going to get rid of The Last Words of a Busy Mind. And I still haven't. And we are 73 chapters in with three special chapters. Which I recommend you check out. The first two are great. And uh, there will be another one at the end of this chapter. Which is getting close. Like we have two more episodes on this season of The Last Words. So yeah. And question remains, am I making good content or am I just creating content? Am I a content machine or am I creating something worthwhile that mixes my interests with the interests of the audience, you know? Am I just relevant because I keep making this stuff or are, you, or are people really interested in listening to me? Basically, to put it simple and uh, bring it into a full circle, am I Fat Slime or am I Gary V? The answer is neither, I'm Ali, which is somehow both better and worse than those two options. You get that however you want. 
I will see you all next week, hopefully with some interesting news.